Hey, yeah, Spaz here back with another YouTube video. And uh, Microsoft had announced last week that they were going to do an FPS boost feature for Xbox Series X and S on backwards compatibility games. So let's get to it. So Microsoft had announced this, and IGN have just. I'm just using IGN's article as an example here. So I've just link that in the description below so I just want to read through it and then we'll give me on some wee thoughts on it as well so Microsoft has announced the FPS boost an enhanced system for X backwards compatible games on Xbox Series X and Series S that can double the frame rate or sometimes even quadruple the frame rate as well FPS boost will be applied to select games so the first five games are enhanced are going to be for our Far Cry 4 New Super Lucky Steel, Sniper Elite 4, UFC 4, and Watch Dogs 2. As the name suggests, FPS Boost improves the frame rates per second performance of each of these games on the newer, more powerful Xbox Series X and S consoles. Microsoft notes that it has chose these first five games as they are both popular and show the range of improvements available. New Super Lucky's Tale has been published to 120 FPS, wide and UFC 4 has been specifically tailored to run at 60 frames per second on Xbox Series S. For players who'd rather experience these games in their original format with lower frame rates, FPS boost can be toggled on or off. This is similar to Xbox, how Xbox and other back compatible the other back compatible back compat technology, auto HDR works. A new compatibility option menu will be added to allow you to toggle both of these technologies. These FPS boost performance enhancements come via Microsoft's Xbox team rather than the game's original dev, dev teams themselves. So there's no additional development needed for the studios. They are applied via patches just like a developer title, title update. Though, so if you wish to play any of these five games with FPS boost, just make sure your Xbox Series X has updated them to their latest version. Last year, Phil Spencer said that the frame rate is more important than resolution since there are backwards compatible games for the Xbox One generation. This will be the chance to get more frame rate and resolution for more on backwards compatibility. Blah blah blah. Check out the list below. So that's just read through the article there. Um, I hadn't done a video previously to this sooner. Um, I just wanted to sort of have my thoughts and thinking about it and just like I think it is good that they're doing this um, I think I, I like it I, I, I personally prefer obviously a higher frame rate to higher resolution I think that, you know once you play the games that you'll find that it's more smoother and it's you know it is more fluid and it's more it is over the overall experience is a lot better now most of the games that i'm aware of are xbox one games that they have enhanced with the fps boost um which is good um they're not like old games around you know they're within the last you know in the last generation as far as i know i don't think any of them's like xbox 360. the only thing i would say that if Obviously, this is they're going to do this in backwards compatible games other than pre um, Xbox Series X and S from Xbox One and previous generations. Now, I would like to know for definite if this they're going to be on, you know, like back beyond even the Xbox One to the likes of the 360. You know, because recently I have tried a couple of the older games and games I did enjoy in the past, and you see actually playing them now. You know, like fair enough, it'd be good to get that extra frames per second. But if the games are that old, you know, I would like to see some sort of enhancement as well. You know, to the textures and if they can try and up the res them a bit. You know, I just from the Xbox One generation, the, the games are going to be fine. You know, they're they're going to be playable and you know they're not going to be as bad. But you know, when you're going to three sixty or X, even the old Xbox. You know that they're going to be so old. You know, if you're going to have this smooth game that's going to run say at sixty frames per second, now I don't know if they're going to go back that far or not. I'd love to know. Maybe need to dig into it a bit more. But for me, from the Xbox One 
Quick to the Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Xbox One X. So I'd be happy enough for them getting the boost and stuff as well. I would like the older ones to get the boost, but I think they need to have some some graphical enhancements as well. You know, at that stage, I'd probably rather a remaster from them old games. Now, obviously, there's going to be, you know, there's not going to be a lot of games that's going to take, make use of this feature anyway, because obviously, you know, maybe this technique is not going to work for every game, so they might have to try different variations of techniques to get it working. But that's only step one, like they have to get, as far as I'm aware, they have to get authorization from developers as well, like, you know what I mean, to have their, not that they have to do them, but their consent, that they're happy enough with what they're doing to the game, that doesn't break what they've envisioned, or, do you know what I mean, or maybe they have a remaster or a remake coming out or whatever, you know, or they re, you know, bring them you know, updating them, you know, whatever, but, like, you know, there's there's all these hurdles they have to bypass, but I think that's good, yes, I like the, you know, they're going to get a frame rate, you know, you know, obviously, the double or quadruple, which is good, but I think they need some more technology to, you know, if, if they're going to enhance this, but, then, you know, I would like something to enhance the graphics apart as well, now, maybe games are going to disagree with me, but, now, obviously, it's alright in Xbox One era, but if you go beyond, I would like some, like, a bit more up in the resolution or textures or something to try and even just make it a wee bit more polished. I don't know if that's a technique that they can do. That's my own personal opinion. That's what I like to see. But look, you know, that's we're all th here thoughts. But um, do you know what? Give me some comments in the description. Let's chat about maybe doing a review video. See what goes. See, you know what? I like hearing other people's thoughts. You know, this is just me talking, but I like to hear other people's opinions. But here. I was just trying to make this wee short video, it's maybe turning into a wee bit longer than I thought, but um, look, if you're liking the content they're creating and you want to help support the channel, it's all very much appreciated. If you want to hit that wee like button there, if you want to hit the wee subscribe button as well to see all my other videos, and if you want to hit the wee bell notification there, then you can see when all my future videos drop. And here, um, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.